Welcome back everybody. It's been a hot minute since we've done a vlog, but uh, we put a poll up online. People want to see more vlogs, so we figured we'd start uh, pumping some out. But if you haven't really been keeping up with everything that we've been doing lately, uh, we opened up a gym. So we're out of the basement. We've got an actual facility, but again, if you've been watching our recent videos and stuff, you've obviously have seen uh, the change in scenery, but super exciting. We've, we've gotten uh, a chunk of new members, um, and then obviously given our current or our former members a, a bigger space to train in has definitely been nice, and my house does not smell like an MMA gym anymore. So nice to, to kind of upgrade and move out from there. Um, I'm expecting a kid in March. That was one of the big reasons that we had to get everyone out of the house as well. Um, but now we've also got a little boy that's going to be coming into the world to train with us and start whooping ass once he's uh, able to train fully. But trust me, he will be sweeping the floor with our with our members. But um, we got some exciting things that we're working on. We've got a chunk of seminars coming out next year, um, both that we'll either be traveling to, cash behind the camera. Today is going to be doing the, the knife seminar with Shivworks in February. So he'll kind of be the focus of that vlog, getting his ass kicked, um, respectfully. And then we've got some that we will be traveling to. All right, thank you. <laughs> Just people in Wisconsin can't drive. Um, and then, yeah, we've got some that we're traveling to. I'm not gonna announce those yet, but those will come soon enough. But uh, for today's vlog, we're actually up here in Milwaukee for the day to uh, head up to the Comet Corner headquarters. Uh, again, if you've been following us for a while, you know I'm one of their athletes. I've been with them for like nine years, more or less now. So we've been with them for a hot minute, but we're coming up to do some photo shoots for them for some of their up and coming, uh, I think, geese and a couple other items that they have coming out that we'll, we'll take some pictures for. So we'll give you some sneak peeks. And then while we're up there, we're gonna film a bunch of content just cause they got a nice training space. So we're gonna kind of give you a little in-depth tour of their building. It's their newer building that they built. Uh, I think it opened up not too long after COVID, right around that time. Um, so it's a super nice facility. They got a big old training space. Everything's made in-house there. And uh, yeah, they got a sick showroom stuff. So yeah, we'll see you over there. Jeremy, nice to meet you. You as well. I'm Grant. David, nice to meet you. Cash. Cash. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, the keys are actually right behind you. So we got the, uh, this is the, our new Mugen. That should be in A2 there. Oh, yeah. One of these going by. Uh, pretty much as soon as we get these photos. So, <laughs> yeah, why do, you, why do you think you're here? Can we model the guy? Well, but if, but if I model it, they're gonna sell out just, you know. Just for me. <laughs> exactly. It's not even gonna hit the market yet. Right. And then uh, we're gonna do essentially a full 360, but uh, like quarter turns every way. So, just like that. This is not an A2. <laughs> There's no way. No way on this one. I don't know where it says to go. It should say yeah. A1. <laughs> yeah. We'll oh, wait. Yeah, so this is their training area. Beautiful, little, beautiful mat space here. Uh, they run like open mats, I think at the end of every month. They stop for a little bit, but I think it's running back now. So like the last Friday of every month, they do kind of like an open mat here. They've got some wrestling programs from the local area that will train here and stuff. But I mean, this is nice. Look, you get like the nice turf, these nice mats. I mean, this is beautiful. The lighting's beautiful. I always like coming up here and filming a few things just because it looks real swell. Um, looks good on camera and it's nice to kind of just change up the scenery for y'all. But if you're ever up in the Milwaukee area, um, come check out the headquarters to begin with. But uh, yeah, this, this mat space is alone. If you're a practitioner, definitely pop in for one of their open mats. So you usually have a pretty good crew here. They got all their different styles and bags out here. Um, they got all the different like teardrop styles, right? You got the water bags just filled. Yeah. Slap in the back, right? Slap in the back. So you got all those bags. You got the pull-up bars, right? 
go real wide. So you got all the different pole bars and stuff. Again, I don't know how many people actually train in here, but nonetheless, this, this room is still, like, I would like this room in our gym. This would be a pretty sick uh, training room. Hey, Roger. Roger. Where's the tech at? Hey, Roger. He doesn't know. I come straight to the, the man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is a nice material. Mm-hmm. I think so. That is really There you go. Did each quarter turn. Yeah, you, know. you like it? Yeah. Like That's that size? I'm wearing it out. Right. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Just wear it out. <laughs> Just wear it out. I was wearing it out. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm back from Comic Corner. Uh, we went up there just to kind of do some photos and videos for some of the new items that they have coming out. You saw the geese. There's a few other things that we didn't show you. Um, but that's pretty much just what we went up there for. And then obviously to pick up a few things. And anytime I'm up there, I kind of like the film in the area. It's a beautiful match space, beautiful lighting. So it's kind of just nice changing up the scenery a little bit. But nonetheless, I'm back. We're at the Stay Safe HQ now. Figured I'd give you all a little bit of a tour since we haven't really gone too far in depth with um, some of the stuff that we have here. So as you can see, this is kind of like our mat space. Right, it's a decent sized mat space. Um, we've got the padded walls essentially going from here all the way around to the far side. Uh, we got our logo slapped on the wall over here. So we did work with uh, Fuji on the mat and they did a nice job with this. They actually um, gave us a nice little discount if they were able to put their logo on here, but we had them match it with our color. So that was kind of nice to put that on there. And then, yeah, we got the nice Fuji smooth mats. Cause honestly, who wants to deal with mat burn with the tatami? Um, that shit just sucks on your feet after a while. So we got the smooth ones. We kept it black and green for everything. So it looks real nice. My only complaint with this space over here, this wall is great. This is solid concrete, this partial wall, and then the partial wall over here and here are like very thin drywall. So even though it's padded, it's more so padded just for aesthetics and to protect like if your head hits it. But otherwise, if you slam into that shit, you're, you're gonna go through the drywall pretty quick. So uh, we kind of have people avoid that stuff for the most part. But I mean, the space here, it wasn't ideally what I wanted. I wanted a warehouse for the gym. Nearly impossible to find one around us. The retail areas are just insanely expensive. And then the warehouses are just getting snagged like that. We put in an offer on a couple and People just outbidded us on them. But uh, the guy that owns this building was using this space as like his personal storage for like three or four years. So he gave us a really nice deal. He even ripped up half the carpet for us. So essentially anywhere that we train, I didn't want carpet down just cause that's just gonna get moldy and smelly. So he ripped up the carpet. Um, obviously we, we laid the mats down here. My wife and I painted all this black, right? Pretty much any of the concrete that was shown, we painted black and then put in like these green and white paint chips. Tried to just give it a little bit of a nicer look to it. it came out okay. Um, we realize it kind of scratches a little bit when people are sliding back and forth on the chairs, but nonetheless, it looks nice. Um, it's better than just like yellow and gray concrete or whatever it is that was underneath it. But plenty of space. Again, on a good day, we're, we're pushing 20 students. On a slow day, we're getting anywhere from like 10 to 16. So we're still getting good sized classes and we have tons of room to do stand up. So again, if you've been following this channel for a while, especially the vlog side of things, you've seen how tight it got in my basement. So again, super pumped that we were able to get a space of our own. This is kind of our striking area. It's not anything crazy um, because most of the striking that we do is pad and partner base. So we're gonna be on the mat space anyway, but nonetheless, we have bags over here that we will use for striking. Um, we've got kind of like the rubber flooring. I've got a few more that we had to order so that I can like fully, as you can see, there's kind of like a gap here and then there's a gap over there. So I ordered a few more so that we can fully fill this area with mats and then that way nobody's stepping on concrete. Um, and then this rack fits eight bags. Um, so we've got a chunk on here right now. So we can fit a good amount of people on here. Again, we've kind of got like a couple fitness classes so people come up and like work the bags, get a nice full body workout in. And then obviously it's like a good burner for my guys that are actually training and stuff. They can mix it up between bag work and then actually working on the mats themselves. Now this area over here, we got people storing their bags and whatnot on this side. And then we had some gym equipment that the owner left for us to use, which is super generous. Again, most people just kind of pick up the, I, I literally just leave this barbell here with 45 pound plates on it. 
and people just do deadlifts and bent over rows and shit before class, whatever. But uh, I'm thinking eventually down the line, because again, we've only been open for a few months. I'm thinking down the line to invest in some more weight equipment, cardio equipment, stuff like that, and kind of just add some of that here. So as we continue to grow, we adjust the schedule, we add some classes and whatnot. Um, I might allow to get a few more things so people can actually train and get physically active and stuff from there. And then last but not least, we have the office, which again, if you watch a lot of the videos, you'll see that we film a lot of stuff in here. So this is kind of just like my personal office. I store all my crap here, um, all combat corner again. We picked up a bunch of stuff today. We got the new geese, right? Haven't been released yet. Um, and then obviously we got my desk and everything here. So this is where I'll film some of my content. Um, do a bunch of like the social media stuff I added. Again, it's just quiet. I can come here and kind of just focus on stuff and not have to worry about being distracted at the house. Um, but yeah, that's a quick little rundown of the Stay Safe HQ. And uh, yeah, we'll see you here shortly for, uh, for class. He starts clearing this leg. I cannot hold on anymore. The moment I've acknowledged that this foot is no longer in play, I need to start making adjustments. Now, the moment that he starts working his hips off, I'm coming all the way across with my foot to catch that hip. And I'm looking to come up in the mount. The biggest thing is this bottom arm, I have to pull it out right away and start posting on this. Because I'm gonna use this to work my way up. This hand, I'm reaching and just grabbing whatever I can to start pulling myself up on top. If we're in gi, I grab the lapel, pull myself up, and the moment I get up in the mount, I'm sinking my hips right away. I get here, Louis starts working right away, he clears that foot, I'm coming up already. But I have to anticipate that because now I just flip positions, this is not the time for me to like, post up and do anything. I have to sink my hips and ideally I should just be looking to kind of secure as he kind of goes crazy, right? We gotta ride that bull for a minute. Then I'm gonna start isolating and do what I need to do from there. Now let's say he was starting to turn this way. So when I come up in the mount, I kind of end up in this top mount position. If you acknowledge that you come up in this top mount position, I'm going to hunker down right away. I'm sliding this knee up and I'm sitting back on this foot because now I'm gonna keep him from going belly down. I'm also keeping him from going back to his back but I'm now in a position where I can grab onto him and now I can come all the way back. And again, I've maintained back control the entire time. Does that make sense? So because I'm seeing a lot of you get to right here and you're just kind of sinking into them. If they're sideways like this, immediately just shift. So you go to this top mount position, secure a gift wrap, pressure in a little bit, and then I can literally just pull him across into my lap and we go all the way back to the other side now, right? And I'm back into the back control. What you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. Those guys are making funny faces at me. You are staring at me the whole time, man. Are you looking into his soul? The whole time. The whole time. I was looking into this. You looking into this man's soul? <laughs> Dude, we miss JoJo. Yeah. Joe's yeah. back on the road. We miss this man. This man's like the face of this gym. Look at this. Look at this. And now he's training to be a what? Firefighter. Sexy ass firefighter. He's gonna pull you out of fires, <laughs> save you, all the things. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, we're gonna give Joe his blue belt. Now, here's the thing about Joe. Not too long ago, the man popped his shoulder in class and uh, hasn't been able to get it fully healed and fixed to the point where it's not randomly kind of dislocating. Um, but one thing that he's done really damn well is he's learned to adjust and he's become probably one of the most technical guys that we have here right now. He's constantly catching people and stuff. Um, he's dabbling with everything, leg locks, back attacks, you name it. He's playing around with it. Um, he's still strong as shit, but he's not dependent on that because again, depending on how he positions his arm, you know, it, it goes out. I hope he gets it fixed, um, but nonetheless, he deserves this. I think everyone that trains with him understands that he deserves this um, because he did not let that injury hinder him at all. He came in and immediately just found ways to kind of continue doing what he needs to do with now his physical limitations and he's still sweeping the floor with most of the guys out there so proud of you big guy and yeah, give me a hand of joe. here's the thing with joe as you guys know joe hurt his shoulder not too long ago kind of long ago um but he uh immediately came back and kind of started figuring shit out in a more technical manner and was being smart on how to maneuver, how to move, how to hit submissions. And he's catching people on some sneaky stuff that I'm not even showing him. He's just figuring out or finding online, whatever. But uh, he's definitely earned this. He's definitely proven that even with any sort of limitation that he's still able to hang in there and be a good threat. So, for you, my big guy. Thank you, man. <laughs> No man, no speech. Um, thank you. 
Speech. Uh, chase your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's about it, guys. All right. That's it.